it's like you're slow, slowly turning into Santi Aragon, facially. Yeah, I lost then <laughs> yeah. all the muscle. Yeah. Actually, no, there was one more before that of me with my wife with a beard. You could see at that point I'd been off testosterone and now working out for six months. No, not that one. There's another one with me with my wife. So lovely. That's me with, now that's the full loss. Now that's eight months down the line, uh -huh. zero working out or not eight months, sorry, a year and a half down the line. And that's zero working out. Leo, so if we went through your pictures, would you be able to pick out like what was happening during that time frame on the screen? Yeah, here? sure. Although I have to just uh, caveat that, um, you know, my pictures aren't as cool, obviously. And they're, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> because uh, so I, I'm not a I, I'm not a bodybuilder and I never trained for hypertrophy. And also, to be honest, because of that reason, we take less pictures. So maybe we could go maybe, Steve, if we go back to the main picture, I can start somewhere uh so let's let's let me just look for a second so let's start on the bottom uh well let's look for a fat one where's the fat one uh <laughs> there's a well there's one called we can start on the bottom right we can start on the bottom right i just want to show you guys how much my physique has changed so start at the bottom right yeah. so yeah yeah so that's when i was 24. i had used mm -hmm. steroids when i was 21 22 for like maybe a total of four to six months but basically i became obese i was alcoholic when i was 23 24 and when i finally recovered i started lifting again and this is when i first lost the fat so you can see i have less tattoos here so we could close this one and then if you go to the next one to the left of it you can see a, a lot of people would say you look younger now than you did in the picture we just had on the screen yeah, it's because yeah. of a lot, a lot of alcohol, a lot of a dangerous lifestyle. But so this one is me still natural. Well, so-called natural this time, 24, 25. I was squatting over 400 pounds here. And uh, this was within a few months. And then I stopped lifting for a while because of some things happened in my life. We could close this one again. I uh, stopped lifting for a while. And you could go to the top middle where I have this red pants, top middle center. Uh, top. This one? No, above it on the right. Top, also uh, been obese many you. times. Oh, here, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. that one exactly. Yeah. yeah, sorry, I could read this it. This is uh... you can see how fat I have actually gotten. I mean, this is real fatty liver disease. When I talk about fatty liver disease, I really mean I had fatty liver disease, and I could easily get into fatty liver disease because I used to be an alcoholic. So I have a propensity. Once you gain those cells, they regain so quickly. So you can see a lot of that is visceral, also. So this is a full out huge belly. Um, anyway, we could close that one just to, I mean, this is very embarrassing. I just want to show you guys the changes, you know, and then yeah, if you, you see how dynamic the body can be, you know, exactly. And then you could see how, uh, under that one, uh, you could see the face, how, how obese even just the face was. So, you know, this is just me sitting there with that kind of uh, prison mustache. <laughs> you can close this one. And then I just, I just want to show you guys. So, okay. Now we could go to, so I started lifting again. You can go, uh, just to the left of the one we, no, that's later. So to, to the left of the one, we just opened one more, one more, uh, one, me on the anabol only cycle with Alan Fisher. Uh, so this was, yeah. this is when I started lifting again. This is Alan Fisher, probably the greatest lightweight arm wrestler in history. And this is when I started lifting. You can see I'm bloated and, uh, on the Annabelle, you could close this one. Uh, same day, actually, under this one, there's a video right under that that one. You see me with this, oh, yeah. some chick I was with at the at the. So you can see I was a bit muscular. It's just a quick thing. So you could close this one. So that's how I became, and I wasn't very muscular. And then uh, that picture you opened at the beginning, top left. That's how I got sort of uh, at uh, toward the peak. But I was bigger than this, but I didn't have uh, pictures at the time. So you could go right. I think there's another one there. I don't know. Yeah. So this is so funny, like before social media, none of us, we really were diligent with picture taking. Like I honestly, I wish I had a time machine and go back and took way more pictures than I did. And the pictures that I have right now of that time, they're all horrible. Yeah. Like, we, taken we, with a calculator, you know, basically <laughs> the, the horrible picture. Yeah. Because you like, I, you look good for a month or two months because social media pressure didn't exist because there was no social media. So you don't yeah. take so many pictures. Right. Well, and then once it. Once that's in a while true. you take a picture and then then looks good. And this is what, an iPhone one? This No, that's true for my old pictures when I was in my 22. I was actually bigger then too than I ever got later, mm. but I didn't have any of those pictures. But close this one, I'll show you another one, a mm. final one. Um, there's, uh, what did I want to show you guys? Uh, oh, that's me and Dimitri Trubin. So uh, do you see the third row? Yeah, that's that is mm. the, he used to be ranked number one in the world for arm wrestling. That's Dimitri mm. Trubin. He's, uh, massive guy good friend of mine we traveled twice together 
a very good friend of mine. I just want to show the audience in case there are any arm wrestling fans. And we could close this one. And then uh, let's see if there's any. So now we show the weight loss. So what happened was uh, maybe we go to the red hat one in the next to that. Yeah, the red hat, the red uh, shirt. Yeah, that one. This one? That okay. new, yeah, that's when I first stopped weight, lifting weights. So you can see I was still on TRT and not lifting though, but still on TRT. I, I want to go party with this guy. Yeah, it was quite fun though. Yeah, you can, <laughs> you can close that one and then I'll show you the progression as we get as we get smaller. That so guy then, looks uh, like he has all the bar connections. The, yeah, the, right. There's a, there's a picture of me sitting down in a room, but I don't know where it is. Maybe it doesn't show for me. It's on the right hand side. Oh, I have to move this. Uh, there's a picture of me sitting reading. Oh, I didn't send it to you guys. Okay. Anyway, so, so you can show on the left there four, uh, four more to the left. There's me sitting. Yeah. You wanted to put, that's me right. sort of toward the end. Yeah. That's me when I lost all the, uh, almost all of it's it. It's like I you're was, slow, slowly turning into Santi Aragon facially. Yeah. I lost then <laughs> yeah. all the muscle. Yeah. Actually, no, there was one more before that of me with my wife, with a beard. You could see at that point I'd been off testosterone and not working out for six months. No, not that one. There's another one with me with my wife. So that's lovely. Me with, now that's the full loss. Now that's eight months down the line, uh -huh. zero working out, or not eight months, sorry, a year and a half down the line. And that's zero working out and everything's gone. And so you can see barely any muscle is there. Nothing is retained. Yes. But, but whenever I would go work out, the muscle would come back quicker than it used to be when I was younger. Yeah, no, the muscle memory is very potent because I, like my wife, she gives me a hug and then she's like, I can't hug you fully anymore. You know, within a week of eating and training. Yeah, it's it's very it, quick. It, it comes back so fast. And I, I've gone through this process several times, you know, like Oh here, above that one. There's one in the snow. You see that one? Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, that one. Yeah. You can see that arm there is after mm -hmm. six months and now there's zero TRT, zero test in my system for three months mm -hmm. and zero workout for for six months for sure. So Are that's you running you, DNP at that time? Huh? Were you running DNP at the time that you can, uh, you oh. know, take your shirt off uh, in the snow and, uh, and not be faced by it? <laughs> no, I used to be hot like that all the time, just uh, from the years of androgens. But that's yeah. what I was trying to show you guys. Like the muscle stays for a while. So it's true. Like if, if you stayed on TRT, you could retain a lot. Like Steve lost a lot just now because he mm -hmm. went totally off and starved himself and didn't work out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So anyway, th that's yeah. all I want to show you guys.